Uh, was that the tempo that you expected for the full 90? Uh, well, ha happy midnight over there, Jason. Glad <laughs> you could uh, you stay with us and hopefully you didn't have to drink too much coffee. Um, hey, this is a, this is a massive result. Um, I thought I thought in the end, um, both teams were um, turned up and performed. We're playing on the West Coast. It's our third game in seven days after travel, and we had the best chances of the game. You know, we we missed a massive chance in the first half. Um, well, multiple in the first half. We we made we missed some big chances in the second half. But our back line was unbelievable. So we. You know, we we'll take that, we'll take the penalty, and Hatch does what she does. But we're only in that game because we defended as a backline very well, and I'm very happy with them. Our pressing as a team wasn't as good tonight. I don't think our press um, was as effective, and they they hurt us a lot in the first half. Um, but this is big time, big time um, result, and really happy and impressed with this group. But it, it looked the broadcast kind of cut away. It looked like at full time you you gave a quick handshake to Freya and then kind of were running out to the defenders. Is that, is that a fair statement? Yeah, it's a fair statement. They, they, um, if you, if on the website, it says defender or goalkeeper next to your name, you, you're getting free coffee for the, for the next week. And, and Amber Brooks is already um, working on the Excel document. And I'm being serious. Um, our press wasn't as good tonight. Um, we weren't winning the ball in front of the midfield like we like to, but the defence, apart from what Thompson sneaking through when Aubrey came up big, yeah, he, he, there was the defence was incredible. In 20,000 people and dealing with the pressure that moment in, later in the second half where I felt like they had 17 corners, the defence was just unbelievable. And we, we, um, we, we finished the night with more shots. We finished the night with the biggest chances of the game on the West Coast on the third game of seven days. Yeah, I, I San Diego, I, I knew was a good performance. I was happy, but we had room to grow tonight. This is massive. It's just the conditions. It's mindset to be able to come here and defend. And if the game finished draw, no problem. We're disappointed with the missed chances. But then we keep the pressure on and we get the chance to put the game in and, and get three points. Um, yeah, we grew. We grew up. We, we grew up tonight. We really grew up tonight and um, very impressed with the group. Thanks, Mark. I'll pass the microphone here. Andre, go ahead. Hey, Mark. Uh, thanks for speaking with us. Congrats on the win. Uh, on that, wanted to get your perspective about the penalty. It looked like, on the at least from from our perspective, seeing multiple replays, I, I thought it was actually going to be uh, overturned when it went to VAR. But what did you see uh, leading up to the yeah. penalty? Yeah, we just saw one one replay in the stadium, and the hand was up, and it ended up hitting the hand from the first look. Um, as soon as I saw that, I, yeah. I, I thought it had to had to stay, but I I haven't seen what you've seen. I haven't seen a great look. Um, I thought we actually missed. They missed some handballs just around the middle of the pitch, kept bouncing off hands, and we weren't calling it. But you, you know, Sam Stop defended a, a, a cross um, down on the sideline, and she had her hands by her side. And um, we've been educated on the rules. You know, defenders. It's hard for defenders to defend with their hands by the side, and you can't run as well. But we know we know the rules. So uh, yeah, first look, it looked like that, and. I love what the team did in that moment because we had a long wait and way that the way that the team protected Hatch gave her the space just to focus on what she wanted to do uh, and then Hatch um, took care of business and we're only in this position because I think I think we worked really hard as a team but the back line and orbs were were big big time um, to come to the west coast to come to Angel City and 20,000 people and not really feel like they were going to score um, yeah, I'm really impressed. I'm really, really happy. I loved, I loved the goals we scored this week, but tonight's my favourite because, yeah, we we were hard to break down, and this is becoming good, a good trend. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was it. Was an impressive defensive performance. Like, I want to talk about it from an attacking perspective. I know you said the press wasn't there, but also wanted to talk about uh, Rodman versus Vignola. It seemed like. We know Sarah Gordon's quick, but it also seemed like Vignola's speed and, and physicality was also kind of neutralizing Rodman at some times. There are some some things I know she switched to uh, the different Andre, track as well. Yeah, Andre, there's only one way Trin was neutralized. Which was there two or three yellow cards on the player that fouled her? Mm. She's getting fouled way too much. It's the only way you can neutralize her. And um, yeah, it, 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 we got to protect the we got to protect the art of the game. Um, 
San Diego, it was it was too much. I think she was fouled. It was the only way they could slow her down. And tonight, there was way too much of it. And I, I think that Angel City had a great performance. I think their backline did a tremendous job. We we moved Trin to help us in the press. The second, the first half, I don't think we really got pressure on the ball where we wanted. Second half, we were much better with our press. But uh, um, yeah, credit credit to Angel City, they played well. But you only you only stop Trin if you foul her. There's 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 no other way to to slow her down. Um, she keeps finding new ways to be able to be dangerous. And yeah, tonight she she still found a way to wiggle through sometimes, and she had a great chance as well. Um, yeah, it's it's um. We got to make sure that when that, that that Sanchez and Hatch and we're able to switch play, that we don't just get stuck on that side with Trin. We know how good she is, but but she can't do it do it every time. Appreciate that. Thank you, Ella. Go ahead. Hi, Mark. Thanks for being here. You know, when you think about where you were at the start of the season and where you kind of envisioned this team was going to be through seven games, I guess it is now. Um, you know how. Where does the result like this kind of fit into where that picture was and how you see the team has come in these yeah, seven yeah, games? Yeah, performance, performance was okay tonight. Performance okay. Pressing wasn't good. Build up, um, Andrew City defended really well. So build up was a challenge. We were kept trying to, we got Sanchez in the game, you know, a bit more than probably Angel City wanted, but we are fighting to get her on the ball. Um, performance um, in, in defending, like I've said, was great. Um, create the best chances of the game. Performance was okay. The result is huge. Uh, the result is really big. I said it for the third time. Three games, seven days, travel to the West Coast. It's kicking off at 10 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. We're um, uh, we're taking in positive steps. This is this is a group that's tasted success, but it's also a group that hasn't been able to maintain. And I think we are um, we're growing up. We're growing up and we're doing the things that you have to do um, to, 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 to be a, a good team. Um, we took some steps. Performance was OK. Result is huge. Thanks. Uh, back to Jason. Uh, Mark, you mentioned Amber Brooks and her spreadsheet, but I, I kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, the performances you've gotten out of her at right back, I know coming into the year, you probably weren't thinking we're going to have a ton of Amber Brooks at right back, but it seems like you mentioned the one-on-one -on -one defending a couple of weeks ago, but she's also contributing more and more on the ball. Um, how, how has she grown into that role in a kind of an emergency situation? Yeah, Amber's done great at centre-back and she's done great at full-back. Um, I loved her cross tonight for the chance for Trin, the cross that she she did that a couple of times against Chicago. She did it, we did video actually yesterday, she she did it against, um, I think it was San Diego, but she put too much air on it and and we, me and her spoke about this quality she showed against Chicago and after the game she said, you saw my cross? I said, yeah, I, I gave you a thumbs up, it was a nice cross. She's doing great, um, but like everyone, um, she has listened well. Um, she's brought her quality and she continues to take forward steps. Uh, but that's been everyone. Um, the best quality right now of this group is this, they're really open and they're coachable and they're working really hard. It's so much individual and group video over the last few days to get ready. And they, they just want to keep learning and keep growing. And But they also have joy and fun. Um, they're having fun there in front of 20,000 people at the end, getting booed. Uh, yeah, a few players were um, were blowing some kisses um, out of respect um, for for this amazing fan base. That, and also, yeah, sorry, I haven't said that this, this is um, this is special. I mean, the, the, just during warm ups, there was two hundred people, and and I couldn't wait. I've never experienced it. Credit to Angel City, the club, but the community of LA to come out and support this team. Um, this was a fun fun evening, and, I, and I'm personally selfishly really glad that I got to experience it. it. Whether I was a fan tonight or the opportunity to coach, to be in this stadium and see what they're doing was fun. Thanks, Mark. Okay, thank Appreciate you, everyone. It. Appreciate you. Safe trip back. Thank you. Can't wait for that six-hour flight.